hi friends previously i have uh, made a video on this uh, unboxing and review of this uh, ph meter um, so this was the ph meter that we did the review uh, though i haven't uh, done the video on calibration which i'll be doing shortly but today we are going to look at a different product from coneview that is the coneview near this is uh, the ppm meter or the tds meter you can say which uh, measures the parts per million so let's do unbox so it's from the same brand as uh, the ph meter this one so this is finally arrived it took some time so this comes in the similar box with nothing much inside i can just feel it that it's dangling the packaging is not the best but uh, as long as it's doing its job it's good uh, so here are some weight and net quantity and things like that the price though it is not 9.99 it's um, much lesser than that um, i'll share the link from amazon where i bought it and uh, let's open it so there is not much of seal and all not much of fancy stuff just a cello tape over here which i've removed and uh, getting the box open okay the cello tape is not fully gone one corner is still stuck yeah so finally this is open so let me just open the box and see what's inside so just the meter nothing else wow unlike the ph uh, testing kit which comes with a pretty good box the tds meter is just simple it's just here nothing else nothing fancy so let's get the box out there isn't much thing inside the box so yeah this is the front of the box with the girl drinking water little spare parts this is supposed to be pre-calibrated and um, should be um, in a ready to use condition and we'll see how it goes so yeah i'll just discard the box and let's see the meter so the meter is pretty pretty small um, I'll say that both of them are uh, probably of the same size so let me get these things out and um, no it's actually smaller than the pH meter so let me get the buffers out let me take out the tester so here are they side by side almost pretty much of the same uh, <coughs> size the look and feel is something very similar with a sticker of Conbio, Conbio Nir in both of them. This is not ready to use yet, um, though, uh, unless it's calibrated. So here, as I open the cap, you have the sensors. This is pre-calibrated, as I told you. So we have this hold button. So once you dip it, you just uh, once you put it inside. You just click on the hole to get the reading so it will hold the reading and this is the on off again we have the battery compartment similar to the other one the this one at the back pretty much uh, the same thing couple of batteries um, reloaded with the battery and then let's put it back So we have an on-off button over here, so when I put it to on, it's in zero. Let's put it off and let's see how to use it. So before that, what I was uh, checking over the internet is the pH ranges and things like that. Um, so the ideal one, they say, is from between zero to 50 and 50 to around 200 is like uh, filtered water. 200 to 300, they say. It's marginally acceptable 300 to 400 is like high tds water from tap or things like that which should not be consumed so those are the readings that i got uh, <clears throat> now what we'll do is we'll see uh, our water purifier uh, we will test both the water let's have some fun seeing how the reading goes 
So here we are, we have the meter, we have couple of beakers, I have just cleaned them and the small tissue. So what I am going to do <coughs> is to collect the tap water and the same water as you can see is going to the RO and which is getting filtered and is coming out from here. I am not sure um, uh, how the readings will be different. So I am just trying to test out my TDS meter, the intention is not to question AquaGuard or the water purifier since they knows more than me. It is just a fun experiment that we are doing over here. So what I will do is, I will, in this container, I will collect some tap water. Maybe till here is okay. So I have around 250 ml of water, let's add some more. So exactly 250 ml of water I have and uh, the same thing that I am going to do with the water purifier as well. I am going to collect some water from here, round about the same unit, 250. So I have close to, as you can see, this is 250 ml of filtered water and this is 250 ml of tap water. Let's see how the TDS goes. So here is the meter with me. So what I'll do, it's pre-calibrated. So I'll just put it one. I can show zero. What I need to do is to put this meter inside. So as you can see here that I have a rating of 500. Let's do a hold. So this water is around 500 ppm. So let's now gently clean it off with the tissue and see how the water is, water from the purifier is. So what I'll do is I'll switch it off and switch it on back again. It's set to zero. Uh, now I'm putting this over here. So you see the difference yourself, right? So here we have the reading from the water meter, which is 69. And we saw over here, so let me do the process all over again. So I'm just removing the hold, putting it inside. I have a reading of around 543, unusable water, getting it up, so it goes back to zero, just rinse it off, putting it here, less than 70, which is amazing, though they look the same, but they are not the same, the one in the right is not good for you, which is not acceptable at all. The one on the left from the filter, it's awesome, it's less than 100, what we intend to drink. You can see here, 69, releasing with the hold, putting it back here, pressing the hold. Now you know the magic that goes behind this, it filters out eventually everything, everything from 500 to 100 is a great improvement. Anything under 100 is absolutely fine for drinking. Thanks for watching the video on the water comparison between the tap water and the filtered water. I was really amazed to see the difference. Um, it, was, it was really a fun exercise on my part as well. Do share, subscribe and like. Um, I'll uh, do more videos on unboxing and reviews. So as of now, I am really enjoying my Conevo pH meter. I'm sorry, the PPM meter. Let's um, have some fun shortly with the pH meter as well. Once we are done with uh, the calibration part soon. So thank you once again to like, share and subscribe. And uh, have a great day.